Okay, grade four. Let's take a look on another read aloud, and that is Anansi and the Moss Covered Rock, retold by Arik, illustrated by Janet. Once upon a time, Anansi the spider was walking, walking, walking through the forest when something caught his eye. It was a strange moss-covered rock. How interesting, Anansi said. Isn't this a strange moss-covered rock? Look, this is the rock. Boom! Everything went black. Down fell Anansi, senseless. An hour later, Anansi woke up. His head was spinning. He wondered what had happened. I was walking along the path when something caught my eye. I stopped and said, "Isn't this a strange moss-covered rock?" down fell anansi again but this time when he woke up an hour later he knew what was happening aha said anansi this is a magic rock and whenever anyone comes along and says the magic words isn't this a strange hmm down he goes this is a good thing to know said anansi and i know just how to use it so anansi went walking 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 through the forest until he came to the lion's house lion was sitting on his porch at his feet was a great pile of yams anansi loved yams but he was too lazy to dig them up himself Anansi said to Lion, "Hello Lion, it is a very hard today. Don't you think so?" "Yes, Anansi," said Lion. "It is terrible hot. I am going for a walk in the cool forest," said Anansi. "Would you like to come?" "I certainly would," said Lion. They were moving and come near to the rock. So Lion and Anansi went walking, walking, walking through the forest. After a while, Anansi led the Lion to a certain place. Lion, do you see what I see? Oh yes, Anansi said. Lion, isn't this a strange moss-covered rock? Oh, he fell down. Pum. down fell lion anansi ran back to lion's house and made off with lion's yams an hour later lion woke up his head was spinning anansi was nowhere inside and when he got home he found that every single one of his yams was gone lion was very sad But Anansi was very happy. He couldn't wait to play his trick again. Once more, Anansi went walking, walking, walking through the forest. This time, he stopped at Elephant's house. Elephant was sitting on his porch. At Elephant's feet was a great pile of bananas. Anansi loved bananas, but he was too lazy. to pick them himself so he said to elephant hello elephant isn't it hot day today it is elephant agreed i am going for a walk in the cool forest anansi said would you like to come that sounds nice said elephant thank you for inviting me anansi elephant reached to the 
so anansi and elephant went walking 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 through the forest after a while anansi led elephant to a certain place elephant look do you see what i see elephant looked yes i do anansi isn't this a strange moss covered rock an elephant also fell down pom down fell elephant anansi ran back to elephant's house and made off off with all the bananas oh poor elephant an hour later elephant woke up his head was spinning anansi was nowhere in sight and when he got home he found that every single one of his bananas was gone elephant was very sad but anansi was very happy he couldn't wait to play his trick again he played it on rhinoceros hippopotamus he played it on giraffe and zebra he played it on every single animal in the forest but all this time watching the behind the leaves watching from behind the leaves was little bush deer little bush deer is small and shy and very hard to see she watched anansi play his wick trick again and again and all the other animals little bush deer decided it was time for anansi to learn a lesson so little bush deer went deep into the forest to where the coconut trees grow she climbed a coconut tree and threw down a great many coconuts she carried the coconuts home in a basket and set them in her pouch then she sat down beside them to wait and now deer is going to wait for the anansi in a little while along came anansi anansi's eyes lit up when he saw little bush deer's coconuts anansi loved coconuts he loved to eat the tender while coconut meat and drink the sweet coconut milk inside but he was much too lazy to gather coconut himself instead he said hello little bush deer it is so hot today little bush deer smiled it is very hot anansi i am going for a walk in the cool forest would you like to come yes i would said little bush deer So Anansi and little bush deer went walking 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 in the cool forest. After a while Anansi led little bush deer to certain place. Little bush deer look over there. Do you see what I see? Little bush deer knew all about Anansi's trick. She looked no Anansi I don't see anything. You must see it look very carefully. little bush deer looked no i still don't see anything she said anansi began to get angry you must see it look over here look right where i am pointing do you see it now no anansi said little bush deer anansi stamped his legs you see it you just don't want to say it See what said little bush deer you know is that i am supposed to say yes said anansi all right then i will say it to make you happy you know said little bush deer there i said it are you satisfied no anansi shouted you are not supposed to say you know what am i supposed to say you are supposed to say isn't this a strange moss covered rock pum down fell anansi so anansi got stuck into his 
own trick. Little bush deer ran and got all the other animals. Together they went to Anansi's house and took back all the good things he had stolen from them. They are taking their all materials, everyone. An hour later, Anansi woke up. His head was spinning. Little bush deer was nowhere in sight. And when he got home, he found his house as empty as it was before. But if you think Anansi learned his lesson, you are mistaken because he is still playing tricks on this very day. The end. I hope you like the story.